friends welcome back to my channel so today's video is a bonus video to yesterday's video in yesterday's video I did the challenge where I built a house only using money that I'd made in a 30 minute shift however I was not able to finish the house in that video I got a little bit enthusiastic about how much I could build with 40,000 and there was lots of things missing from the house like I didn't have a garden and some of the details inside were missing so I said in that video I was gonna do an extra bonus video where I would complete the house and that is what I'm doing today so if you haven't seen that video yet you might want to go watch it otherwise this speed build is going to start with like a partly done house rather than starting from the beginning so you might want to go catch that first half and then come back and watch the second half but this is the house I made it's this beautiful loft house and it's looking so much better now that it has a garden before it was just kind of randomly stuck in the middle of a plot and it looked a little bit awkward but now we have this beautiful garden outside with like this river like running up to the door which I think looks so pretty a huge tree with a tire swing and I just really love how this house is looking it's actually one of my favorite houses I've ever made I think so the value of this loft house has increased quite a lot since yesterday's video I thought when I was like gonna finish this house off that it'd only be like a couple more thousands like maybe 10 or 20 more thousand but I kind of got a little bit out of hand and the house now costs $120,475 so it's literally more than doubled it's like tripled in price which oops but I think it's totally worth it because this house looks so pretty once we get inside so let's head inside and I will show you the house so if we come this way and open up the front door we will see the house inside like how beautiful and colourful does this look I absolutely love it so we have the living room straight away like I said in the last video this is a very like open plan loft style house so we have the living room dining room and kitchen all in one big space the bedroom is upstairs this is a one bed house and then we have the bathroom and utility room at the back but I think this looks absolutely stunning I just think it looks beautiful so here is the living room space I've now put some more stuff on the bookshelves which were looking a little bit bare before I've added some like more details onto the table so we've now got um I added I can't remember what I added on here I think I added another vase I'm not even sure but I added a painting over there and I just think this looks absolutely gorgeous I have changed all the decals now as well so all of these decals you can now find in my inventory I decided to finally download some of my own abstract paintings because I use these kind of abstract paintings all the time and I thought it was about time I actually went on like Pinterest and found some of my own so I found some of these abstract paintings I've uploaded them all so if you want to use any of these paintings that are all in my inventory my Roblox username is Spookles2 for people who don't know yet but yeah this is the living room space I just think it's absolutely stunning I think it's just the prettiest living room I've ever made I love this colour scheme this pink is just gorgeous and how good is this decal like this decal here the pink matches perfectly with the pink of the house like mind blown I didn't even like choose to do this it just happened to be like the perfect colour so that is a living room space and then over this way we'll come to the kitchen first of all so here we have the kitchen now I have now added some stuff under the stairs here so I've added some stuff on top of the fridge and on top of this like counter and now I think it looks so much better because it kind of like fits to the shape of the stairs like the furniture like goes to the shape of the stairs which I really love I tried to get them to like rise in height a bit so that's why we have like the kitchen roll here and then like smaller items here I just absolutely love how this is looking I added some little fairy lights around the house as well which I think just makes this house look so like cute and like I kind of get the word floaty for this house I don't think that's like a word that you'd use to describe a house but I just get like pretty flowy floaty vibes from this I just don't I don't know I just think it's super pretty but here's the kitchen now I've added some more stuff to it we have this beautiful decal now in the corner I have a few more things on the counters which were a little bit bare I upgraded the oven because I did have like the basic oven before um, and I think I did this plate rack as well I don't think we had that before but how beautiful does this look and then this little room here is the utility room which again looks stunning it's really really cute and pretty I'm gonna quickly come outside into the garden because I've just noticed it's five o'clock in game and it's gonna get dark so this is the garden here I absolutely love this little like building thing I've done here rather than a conservatory it's like I don't know how to explain it because like these aren't walls these are just pillars and then it's got a glass roof it's just like a little kind of garden room I'm not sure how to explain it but I think it looks really pretty and then we have this little seating area here and then we have the water all the way around the house again which just looks gorgeous I just really really love this house 
we will head back inside now um yeah so that was the utility room and then on the other side is the dining room so we'll just jump over the sofa here is the dining room which is looking so much better now that i've added more stuff to it it looked really bare before so now i added this um dresser with a mirror on and some details i added some more plants a little decorative table and the big mirror it's just gone night time so it's gone dark on the mirrors but i think this is a really pretty area now and then this little room here is the bathroom to the house like i said this is a one person and house so there's only one bathroom which is downstairs but this looks again looks so much better now that I've added stuff to the counters the counters before were just like completely plain so now we have all these details we have towels we have this beautiful rose we've got vases candles toothbrush holders soap it just looks way better I'm just so happy with this house I think this is like I don't know if it's my favourite house I've ever done. I don't know if this like beats the Let's Build a House series house. I'm not sure, but I do think it's really beautiful. Let's head upstairs now. So upstairs is the bedroom, which before looked really kind of empty and plain. So now I've done it up a bit. Um, I've fixed the roof up a bit, so I changed the roof slightly. So I don't know, if you'll be able to see in the speed build what I did to change it, but it looks a little better now. But we still have the skylight going across so you can look at the stars whilst you're in bed, which would be so cute. We have the bed area here, which I did a little decal in the middle, which I think looks so much better. I haven't really changed anything else over in this space yet, but I've added a dresser here with books, a little ornament and stuff like that. Um, I've added an extra clothes rack as well there was only one clothes rack before but now I've got the two and then over here I just switched the decal out added some lights added a few more bits on the desk so that's really all I did and this area looks so much better already and then the final part of the house is the balcony it's a little bit dark so hopefully you can still appreciate how pretty this balcony is but this is the balcony out here on this side I just have like a little kind of seating area like how nice would this be during the day to like sit on here and read a book and look out over the garden and the mountains because I've got like you can't even see I was gonna say I've got like a mountainside plot but you, you literally can't see anything because it's dark um, but like how nice would that be we've got some plants we've got a decorative table some like hanging baskets which I think looks so nice like hanging from this wooden frame over the beds and then over here I just have a barbecue and then some more plants and stuff I just think this house is absolutely stunning it's definitely just up there as one of my favorite builds ever so if you do want to see how I made this house you can stick around for the speed build like I said the first part of this is in yesterday's video I am looking really sad now I promise I'm not um, but like I said the first part of this build is in yesterday's video where I did the 30 minute working and then building challenge I didn't work that right but you know what I mean so you need to go see that part first to be able to build the first bit of the house and then you can come back and follow this part to finish the house off and make it look 10 times better but I'm so happy with how this house has turned out if you don't want to watch the speed build that's totally fine this is the end of the video then please do like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video comment down below with any future video ideas and as always a huge thank you for watching bye guys Mwah.
thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video please do like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video comment down below with any future video ideas and as always a huge thank you for watching bye guys Mwah. Thank you.